Hello, I'm Asha Vahabzadeh at CES 2016 at the Digital Health Summit Studio, and I'm with Dr. Andrew Petke, who's an orthopedic surgeon um, and the co-founder and CEO of Lim Innovations. Great to have you here, Dr. Petke. Thank you for having me, it's a pleasure. You just had an amazing session at the Digital Health Summit. Can you give us some insights and a recap? Well, I'd like to say, first of all, that I appreciate the interest in having one of our patients share his personal story. And I think that's critical. So as a recap, Lim Innovations is a company developing prosthetics technology for amputees and data solutions that relate to a lot of these advances and where digital health is going for the disability space. Um, we're looking to address the primary issue, unmet need, if you will, in prosthetics, which is comfort and control, volume adjustability. And we had one of our amputees here to talk about his experience having worked with traditional sockets for the last 30 years that are rigid, a rigid solution to a dynamic problem, if you will, and explain in his own words what life is like having something that's more accommodating to volume change and comfortable and very simple, basic, fundamental things that are incredibly important from the prosthetic standpoint. So it was a fantastic, fantastic opportunity to really have a patient articulate these challenges as opposed to just me. This looks so different from the kind of antique you held up earlier. What, what is making this different? Well, that's a great question. I think there's a couple key components. Number one, it's adjustable. So whereas the conventional socket is unable to change its shape and its form based off of how the patient's anatomy evolves over time, whether they have dialysis, whether they're post-operative and their limb atrophies, or whether simple day-to-day -day volume fluctuations like your foot swells when you get off an airplane and your, your shoe doesn't fit. So there's ways for the socket to be uh, adjusted with simple methods of uh, sliding struts in and out or swiveling them around. There's also patient day-to-day -day adjustability at the soft good portion of the, uh, the brim of the socket. And we have you know, exciting different technological advances using 3D printing and even more exciting ways of fabrication that allow us to take a couple measurements and pictures of a limb, send that data to San Francisco where we're based, and send a socket out in a matter of a day. That's, that, that's fascinating. With this techno, with the technology that you're developing with Lim, where do you see yourself going in the next 12 months? Next 12 months are, in the next 12 months are going to be highly focused around leveraging that technology to improve the care continuum, the service model, and to also really build out data and what that can offer for the patient, allowing that data to communicate their experience with the device after they leave the clinic and allowing that data to be actionable for the patient and the clinician. Where can people go to find out more? Check out our website, liminnovations.com. That's the best way to look it up. Dr. Petke, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate thank it. You. This is Asha Vahabzadeh at CES 2016 at the Digital Health Summit Studio. Thank you.